Hello, my name is Eric Brauk and I'd like to teach you a few things about Islamic geometrical design. I'd like to teach you how to make patterns using just two simple tools. A pencil, everybody has that, and a ruler or a straight edge. I want to teach it in this way because traditionally craftsmen use these two simple tools. They also use a pair of compasses but in my course you won't need to use a pair of compasses. A little bit about myself. Um, I've been interested in the subject for a very long time, both as an artistic pursuit, but also as a subject that can be studied historically and practically. I've written two popular books on the subject. My first book is this book, which is called Islamic Geometric Patterns. That came out in 2008, and then more recently I published this book, which is the first big full-color art book on the subject. In both these books, and also in my course, I try and teach the subject in a very simple way. And I do this because it makes the subject the most accessible and also the most fun, because you're creating patterns, and the only the way that you're doing that is by drawing circles and lines. Everybody can draw circles and lines and that's why anybody who takes this course will at the end of the course have been able to draw a few patterns and hopefully also better understand how you can analyze geometrical patterns, how you can analyze geometrical composition so that the next time you you see a pattern or the next time you visit a building where you see these geometrical designs you can learn to understand how they were created and you can start recognizing elements which helps you to better understand how patterns can be categorized, how they belong together and also to help you understand how they were designed so that hopefully you would be able to design them as well. So I try to keep it very simple, I use a lot of visual material, so a lot of photos from mosques, from Quran pages, from uh, madrasas, from uh, all over the Islamic world and across the centuries. So there's examples from, from India, from Egypt, from North Africa, from the Alhambra for example. I try to keep it as diverse as possible and also to make it an interesting visual journey for you. So it's not just about the learning how to make things but also appreciating the beauty of Islamic geometrical design. So, if you think that's interesting, and if that's something that you would like to learn, then do this course, because you'll really enjoy it. I've been doing this for 20 years, and I've never been bored. There's always new things to learn, and it's a very creative pursuit. It's, uh, it's a wonderful thing to sit down with a piece of paper, or with your computer, but if, if you use a piece of paper to have a pencil and a ruler, to start with a blank page, and to end up with a pattern that you can recognize as being an Islamic geometrical pattern. So take my course and good luck. Thank you very much.